And a energy sem ni say, tap tap send si yen fa sad de rowe emma wan customers. Niti tu any one wan wo UK say. Obet ni a creative wo tap tap send wallet no, ewa wo app no eso. Se e koba ne se tap tap rate ni ekostra. Obet ni a sebi ska a kodu in pen pen so bi ti se 50,000 Ghana cities. Ane, 50,000 Ghana cities. Na afei, wo yi ni kakran kakran. Se o ba on my gane mwa. Ube timi a sevi ska ewa o tap tap send wallet na so. Abra unya o how be ya. Na tiye, tap tap send a tre o ma shimu. Ako dru UAE, Netherland, ena Austria. Tap tap send a na. Eye easy, fast, ena secure. Tap tap send, papa no no. Everybody check now. Check it. Ma check it. Check it, check it. Huh. The beat is real. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. no make it kill ya. Yeah, yeah. Get your green cell electrocometer and check it. Sugar level, check it, check it. For check it, check it. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Green cell electrocometer. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Who sugar level for check it? For check it, check it, check it. For check it, for check it, check it, check it. Reset, go, go, Mika. Everybody check now. This advert has been vetted and approved by the FDA. My interest in some two stories called me into the studio. At a time that I was supposed to rush out of the studio to go start my weekend. But because I found interest in these two stories, I decided to come and spend some minutes to talk about them. I decided to come spend some few minutes with my people and to expatiate on what the content was. And that is what I want to do. This is actually going to be about Nigerians, Bernard Boy and Ghana's K.K. Fosu. That is Nigeria's Bernard Boy, who is known for the Afrobeat world, or who is known in the Afrobeat world as the giant, and Ghana's high life giant. His name is K.K. Fosu. These two will be my point of focus in this particular editorial. And I want you to join me on this journey. Let's do this. If this is your first time on this platform, my name is Sammy Flex, and I do the editorial from my perspective on issues happening in our showbiz space. I do this with my team of producers, led by Aditi Chao Rasta, he's called Currency, who is doing our camera, and Richie Flex is the editor and director of the show. And I know you are the other side, you have also been enjoying the content we do here, and we pray that you continue to even enjoy some more. Now, Tap Tap Send is here as well. Um, maybe you are planning on sending money from abroad to Ghana. Only one app does it better, and that app is Tap Tap Send. Tap Tap Send does it better. And if you want to use their wallet, the Tap Tap Send wallet helps you to save money when the rate is high. You do the exchange rate and you put it in there, and you are good to go. Tap Tap Send does it so beautifully for you any day, any time. Now, let's come back to the real issues. We're not going to spend so much time here. Quick, 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 and we can run away from here. First, it's about an extract that I saw captured somewhere from a Bernard Boy's interview. In fact, when I saw, when I read it, I said to myself, these and many more are the things talent and creatives are doing to better their lot. Yet, People in the name of reviewers, people in the name of pundits, people in the name of industry watchers and observers, they have been making them look like they are doing nothing. Sometimes, when I hear the stress, the struggle, some of these talents go through, and I see at the other end how people are discussing them with disdain, with disrespect, I ask myself, is it easy to be who they are? If it is easy, then everybody could have been them because there are so many people who want to be them. I can tell you for fact that there are so many people who want to be Stone Boy. 
So many people who want to be Sarkwede. So many people who want to be Shatawale. So many people who want to be Bernard Boy and the rest of the guys who are doing it massively. It is not easy to be at the top. It takes hard work, dedication, sacrifice, and a whole lot to be able to get to the top. Yet, when people get to the top, instead of us showing them respect, instead of us appreciating them, instead of us valuing where they have been able to put themselves, the standard that they've been able to set for themselves, no. That is the time you would see people who are trying to drag them to be able to be popular out of it. That is when you see people who think they can use such names, people's hard-earned names, to misbehave. When I read the Benna boy except I said, wow, this is what he's going through. Unfortunately, many would not be smart to even know that these people go through a lot to be where they are. Now I'm going to read this and let you know where my interest is. It was posted on Facebook as I saw it. And this is what it says. And this is a quotation from Benaboy. It says, I have not had proper sleep in four years. Four continuous years, man has not gotten proper sleep. And this is why. I sleep at most three hours in 24 hours. You, how long would you be able to do that? Or how long can you do this? If you are to sacrifice your sleep, three hours in 24 hours and do this in a continuous four, uh, four years, do you think you'll be able to survive it? And I agree with him. Most of these guys who are in the showbiz space, they are mostly active during the night. St recording studios, mostly active during the night. How to get that free sound mind to do some recording, mostly during the night. Because over there, there are no many, plenty people going in and out. We don't see it like that. And he continues by saying that. The remaining 21 hours, I'm trying to work. I've been touring and working at the same time for four years. And this is fact. Boy is speaking fact. He's been working. He's been touring. Four continuous years, ever since he came onto the, 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 the street. That's how it has been. Or he came on the road. That's how it has been. In fact, from last year to this year, when I saw he had announced another tour, I said, hey, won't Bernard Boy, I even said that, hey, won't Bernard Boy rest? After all, after doing back-to-back, -back, winning the Grammys, someone would expect that, oh, man will just fold small, relax more, and get back. Nah, he did not rest. Just within some months, he's back on the road, going hard again. And you ask yourself, such a person, if we can't even... Um, uh, we can't even praise him. If we can't even appreciate him, we shouldn't try disrespecting him. But that is what we see, especially among industry folks. Such a person, if we cannot make him feel good, if we cannot worship him, we have to show him some respect. Now let's continue reading. He says, Sometimes I'm back from a show tired, but I need to record. And you know I don't just make any kind of music. I must do music that reflects me and the people that believe in me. On Showbiz Daily, I said to my people that when Bernard Boy said sometimes he's back from show and he has to record, I have seen it before with my naked eye. We went to a place somewhere in uh, the Ashanti region, Mansua Kwesiso, a very long journey. We, we, we drove through some rough road, dusty road to get to our destination. We got there, Shatawale did not even take a nap, talking to one person after the other. Right after, he had to go play the show. When we came back from the show, thinking that, oh, at this stage, man should be tired and he needs rest, he goes to sit behind the computer, uh, his laptop and a speaker, playing beat. Kunkro, kunkro, kunkro. And I said to myself, oh my goodness. So if he gets to that level, that stage, where he needs to be celebrated, if you are not able to celebrate him, don't despise his achievement. Unfortunately, we live in an era that to some people, those who have achieved, they are their target. That to some people, those who are winning, they are the guys they want to touch. 
if you are such a person, bow down your head in shame. Of course, I would never say these people are prophets. These people are angels. These people are some men of God who are clean. I'll never say that. They have their minuses. They have their disadvantages. They have what makes them humans. And all these things, they are just telling us that, yes, they can be you. But because they have gone the extra mile, that is why they are where they are. I wonder why it is so difficult for us to respect ourselves and to put some premium on some people. When you go elsewhere, some of these people, someone can even go and say that, okay, on this day, on this time, this person will be coming here. So because of that, we're going to see his activities there. Because we know the value. We know when that person appears. We know what it means. Not to create chaos and any other thing. Okay, because that person will be coming here between this time and that time, we are going to make the place inactive just so the person can operate. This is value for who you have become. This is respect for who you have become. This is celebration for who you have become. Mm -hmm. Elsewhere, the story is not like that. Disrespect all over, left, right, and center. Because the people think that, yes, they also have mouth to talk. They also think that they have power to also talk. Now, listen to what Benabo is telling us. Four years in a row, man no dip, like someone said. Four years in a row, he's been doing something over and over again. And he's not even fed up. Yes, if he's fed up, you feel it. When he's on the stage, you see it. He's not. He is doing it well. Like he has energy. Still killing it. Such a person, if you won't celebrate him, what else would you do to him? If you won't celebrate such a person, what else would you do to him? He needs to be celebrated. He needs to be praised. He needs to be worshipped. It doesn't kill for you to praise such a person. It doesn't kill. I don't know why sometimes people feel, oh, if you decide to uh, make the artist feel like the star that he is, it means you are a fool. It means you are a slave. I don't know why people feel like that. That you move with a star. You work with a star. You make him feel who he is. Because he is someone. You are privileged to be working or to be moving around such a person. Because many, it is their dream. Many, that is what they sleep and they see. They wish to be here. They wish to be there with such a person. You have become lucky. Or you have been, based on your contribution, based on your knowledge, based on your expertise, you are the chosen one. Don't take, a, don't take, uh, don't take advantage of it to misbehave. Do it right. Put some value and respect on such brands. And when you're able to do this, trust me, you'd also be appreciated. That's what I know. I keep saying, if you respect talent, you'd be appreciated. I keep saying, if you are someone who appreciates talent, you would also get your appreciation in return. At least we've seen it. We've seen men like Don Jazzy, the Bola Reyes. We see how these talents show them respect. It is the same thing. But if you think, oh, to you, you are you. So you can spill all rubbish, all nonsense in the name of attacking celebrities and their brands. So you also get some traction. You are going to do this at your own detriment. Yes, you are going to do this at your own detriment. To Bernard Boy and his likes, may God give you enough strength to overcome who they are. They have worked hard to be there. Let's celebrate them. If you not celebrate them, let them be where they are so that those who would want to celebrate them will celebrate them. Don't go and destroy them. Don't go and um, cast aspirations onto their brands. And No, it is not good. I pray that most of these things will end as we grow. I pray that most of these things, we will see development. We will do it right and do it better. Long live the industry in the whole of the world. Long live talent with whatever they are doing. And of course, long live people who love them as well. My name is Sammy Flex. We will do this again some other time. Bye-bye.